So now that I got my crafting system working for the game that I've been working on, I wanted to try and get something like a recipe system going, so that way all of the crafting recipes that you can use are supported and visible in-game. The idea I had in mind was creating some sort of like recipe book system. Uh, this kind of reminds me of like Minecraft's recipe book, but instead of having everything from the moment that you start playing, you have to actually unlock the recipes themselves for them to be added. In the long run, I think I want there to be different tabs for each of the different crafting stations that you can use in the recipe book. But for now, I think I'm just going to create one flat book and then every recipe that you learn is gonna get added to there. In this part, I was going for kind of a square book texture. I guess this could work if you were thinking about it being like a, a hardcover book or something that was, yeah, with a, a harder material on the edges. Since in my case, I wanted this to be kind of more like a, a book that you would carry around with you at all times. I think that it made more sense to go with the soft outline so that way this could be more like a soft cover book and have the bottom fold with the edges. Switching over to Godot now, uh, we're able to create this new recipe book on top of the player so that way we have the recipe book follow the player around wherever he is. And I know it's probably not the best idea, but due to the size of the game, we're keeping all the UI elements kind of attached on the player himself. Here I'm just playing around with some of the different sizing and spacing options, and also what I wanted the background to be for the actual inventory items and recipes. I wanted this to have a different look and feel from the inventory and crafting system itself, but still be reminiscent of the systems that they'll be interacting with later. Then once I was pretty happy with how one of the lines worked in coordination with everything else, I decided to uh, start copying this over to some separate objects and then add these all as parent objects. The major design pattern that I'm following here is a composition pattern where I have a bunch of different objects composed of other smaller objects. This allows you to create some complicated code without it becoming just a spaghetti nest or web of uh, unreadable logic. So you can see that I have several different line items, those all using the same single line script, and then several different, or two different pages, those having one single page script. And then for our, our main book class, we only have to have a single reference, uh, which then calls the other downstream functions. So it makes it a lot more readable and a lot more maintainable too. Here I'm adding just some simple texture buttons so that way we can go forward and backwards in pages. I wanted this to also feel kind of like that Minecraft look and feel. And eventually I'll add some different sprites for the up and down actions, but for now I think we'll be fine just having to click on the arrow itself. Alright, 
content that should just about do it. Now it's time for a demo. should be enough wood. So now uh, we can check the recipe book and we see that it's all empty for right now. We can flip through the pages, but those are empty too. Uh, but if I open up the crafting bench, now I can add my crafting recipe. And you can see there's nothing being highlighted here yet. Uh, so this is a recipe that I'm just attempting. As soon as I craft it, looks like it works successfully. And now that we know this recipe, we can use the generated item to relearn what that recipe was in case we forget. This goes away as soon as we populate, but if we just put this back in, we can get a helpful reminder if we forget along the way. Take that out. And then if I go ahead and add in a couple more here, we see that it knows how to handle multiple items correctly as well. And then it actually gives me back all of the extra items that I would have had. But this is the fun part that I like about it, is that if you craft something that actually isn't a recipe, it ends up eating all of your items. So there's a little bit of risk involved with the crafting system. Now if I pull up the recipes again, you can see that the one recipe that I've done already has already been added to the known recipes book. And now we can see that it actually is changing pages on us. Eventually I want to get rid of the right button, similar to how we're doing on the left. Um, whenever we reach the end of our list, we shouldn't be able to keep looking through. But that's a day two item. I think I'm happy with where we are so far. Well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for sticking to the end.